recycle <coughs> into uh, five smaller sculptures mm -hmm. because this sculpture was, uh, it's called support yeah. and it was uh, to raise awareness towards climate change. Yeah. So it was made out of... You know why I made this? During COVID, uh, we could not travel, right? But I was having exhibitions. So I sent myself to the exhibitions so people could hug me even if I wasn't there. Oh, really? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> you understand? Uh. <laughs> because in COVID, I couldn't travel. Yeah. So I, ha I sent this to the exhibitions where my art was. I, I made a few copies of this and I sent it there. I said, okay. And that's for the children. That's to hug the children. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a lot of art now because it's all in galleries. So here now there's not a lot of big pieces, it's a lot of the smaller pieces. This is going to London. This is going to London. This is going to Venice. Uh, all the kids they can have this, they can have the, the thing. You know, when I made this, during COVID, uh, we could not travel, right? But I was having exhibitions. Yeah. So, complete me. And it's going to be covered by, their, their whole body is going to be puzzle pieces, puzzles. Yeah. And you see, she's holding one puzzle and he's holding another. And in the end, that's the missing puzzle. When they find each other. Oh. <laughs> So nice. <laughs> so nice. Did you like? Did you like? Yes. So this then I'm gonna I'm making the full body version, but then I'm going to show it also in shorter versions. Maybe just just this part. Maybe even just this part. You know. Uh, this is called love and hate. Love and hate. Oh. How fast things can change. Yes. Unfortunately. In different sizes. Um, so it's either genetic engineering and evolution or divine intervention, right? So you, each one has to decide. And they put it on these, uh, they put it on these uh, bases to show the opposition of, of the two, like math and science or spirituality. Mm -hmm. And each one has to decide what it is. And that's the decision that each one of us has to make. And so they look like eggs, right? Yeah. So again, the chicken and the egg. And not the, uh, uh, not fingerprints. I was actually doing bodies and I was a surrealistic, surrealistic painter. I love the Salvador Dali. And I was copying Salvador Dali. And then um, I got to play Salvador Dali in the movie. And that's when I realized that I was not Salvador Dali, that Salvador Dali is unique, that he is a genius, and so I had to do something else. And that's when I turned to sculpting. I left painting and I turned to sculpting. And from surrealism, I went to symbolism. So now I'm a symbolic artist, um, and uh, very happy with that. Very happy with that. I started uh, 35 years ago, 36 years ago, when I was 18. I had my first exhibition. It was a painting exhibition. I did it in Hawaii, and I got a very good lesson because it was it was only paintings and it was surre surrealism. And, uh, but I didn't have a lot of paintings. I had maybe 10 paintings. And, but they were, they were okay because I really worked on them and I gave them my best effort. And uh, I sold all of them. But they were very cheap. They were like 400, 500, 600 dollars. So after that, I learned a very good lesson. Because the gallery said, 
why don't you do the show next year as well? So I prepared the exhibition for next year, but I wasn't thinking about quality. I was thinking only about, oh, I can make more money now because I was successful. So I was thinking about the money. So I made more paintings, bigger paintings, and I made them faster, but the quality wasn't there. And when, I, when we uh, did the exhibition, I didn't even sell one painting. So I learned the lesson that it's not never about the money, it's about the quality. It's about doing things with the heart because you want to do it, because you love doing it. The money will come. And so from then on, I said, I'm not gonna ever present something if I'm not happy with it. And I'm not gonna think about the money, I'm gonna think about the, the art itself. So it was a good lesson that I learned very early on. Plus they're gonna have uh, two sculptures of mine. Oh, <laughs> really? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But I, I prefer the, the moko to the nak, for sure, hands down. Uh, okay, so what do you see here? This is a... I was going to do a, a drip painting, so I could do one in front of you. I just had to do... I had to finish this. Uh, this is a... This series I'm doing is called The Soul. The Soul. Mm -hmm. You know? The, the aura. Sorry, the aura, the aura, the aura, not the soul. The aura. Uh, so, what you emanate, the colors you emanate. Uh -huh. So, um, I need to put now some white and some yellow. I'm gonna make this spin, but you have to be careful because it starts <laughs> splashing uh, paint. <laughs> But for you, it's good to film. Yeah, it's yeah. a fun little thing to film. Uh, I'll do that. I have to put the fingerprint in the center there. That's a commission for a client. It's my fingerprint uh, with a supernova. And uh, we'll do that. And then I'll explain to you a little it's bit. Your yes. yes, these are all my fingerprints. Ah. Well, no, that's Pele, you know, the football player. Yeah, Pelé. Yes, Pelé. And that's, where's Messi? Messi. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> Messi. Uh, uh, I don't see Messi. Messi, I have Blaugrana. It's him and his wife. Half him, half his wife. They came and they did the, the fingerprint. Yeah. Wow. Great, right? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah, nice. And that's, that's me and Pele. <laughs> But me, Pele, I did in white, and me, I did in black. Yeah. Yeah. I did the other way around. Yeah. 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 And I did Pele's feet. El pie de Pele no lo tenemos aquí, Andrés. Very precious. Tanta roba, come si dice in Italia? Tanta roba. Cioè ce l'abbiamo però non è, non è esposto, si vede. Ovviamente poi io non, è, non ci faccio niente perché ci sono dei diritti, quindi lo uso qui, se me lo richiedono ce l'ho. Era un piede un po'... cioè non era da giovane. Quindi era un po' un po' ritirato, un po'. <laughs> Però lui era così stupendo, così gentile. I'm sorry, we were talking about Pelé, that he's such a beautiful, wonderful, lovely person. He's a beautiful person. Ah, I'm gonna show you, you know, support? I said it was recycled. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna yes. show you one of the pieces that I recycled. It. Sorry. Sorry. It's the first thing. Your email was the inspiration of this. Project. And thanks to you, we are performing this project. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you very much. You are very Beautiful. kind, supportive, Thank you. and adorable. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Very kind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you very much. How is it? Uh, to, to, to shake it? Yes. To shake it. To shake it.